No, 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 no! What were you thinking? By now you must have heard the news about Phoenix Jones and what he did last week. Who's Phoenix Jones, I hear you ask? He is the self-proclaimed protector of Seattle, a real-life superhero with no superpowers, patrolling the streets, making sure it's free of crime. Even though that most of the crime he breaks up is related to drunken offences, and he often hands out sandwiches to the homeless people. But at least he's out there trying to make a difference. And then he gets summoned up to court. Why does he get summoned up to court? Because during a routine patrol, he mistook a bunch of drunken people dancing around as some sort of drunken crime and he got charged with assault because he pepper sprayed a whole bunch of the drunken people. But hey, these things happen, it's an honest mistake, Guff, it could have happened to anybody. During the court summons, he was told that he had to remove his mask, and he did. But, this kind of stuff wouldn't happen to Bruce Wayne or Batman, he would just go up to them and say, I'm not removing my mask, I'm Batman. And that would be the end of it. No one would ask any questions. But that's not the worst part. As soon as the court appearance had finished, he walked outside the court, and then what did he do? He goes and reveals his secret identity. I'm Phoenix Jones. I'm Elsa Ben Fodor. Yeah, I'm just like uh, everyone else. The only difference is that um, I decided to make a difference and stop crime in my neighborhood in my area. This is going to affect everything. Now people might even start giving a crap about Phoenix Jones patrolling the streets, and they're going to hit him where it hurts the most. They're going to hit him in the streets, they're going to hit him at work, and they're going to hit him with his family. And I'm sure he didn't even think about that. His wife and his kids. Or well, one kid, which I don't remember this moment of time, but that's not important, this is a rant. Look, people, superheroes don't go around revealing their secret identities for a reason. Look what happened to Peter Parker during the Civil War storyline. Spider-Man decided to reveal his secret identity as Peter Parker, live on national television, under the advice of Tony Stark. And look what happened to him. He got into a bucket load of trouble, including being sued by J. Jonah Jameson. And at the end of it all, they decided to completely retcon this entire history line to the point where no one remembers who Peter Parker is anymore. No one knows who Spider-Man is anymore. Well, let me tell you this, Phoenix Jones. There ain't no super high-powered immortal demon in this plane of existence that can retcon your mistake. This is something you're going to have to live with. And now, because of all this commotion related to Phoenix Jones and his assault charge, some of us are going to have to pick up the slack, because now there's potentially one less superhero patrolling and protecting the streets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going off to fight some crime. That should be enough crime fighting for one night.